The Purple Heart is one of the military's highest honors. It's given to soldiers who are seriously wounded or killed in action. Today, a local captain was pinned with the honor while never carrying a weapon on the battlefield. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America has awarded the Purple Heart established by General George Washington at Newborough, New York, August 7th, 1782, to Captain Michael Freeze. Captain Michael Freeze joined the Army not as a soldier, but a chaplain. The chaplains normally aren't outside of the wire, as they say uh, in the military, and he put himself in harm's way uh, and uh, was able to come back safely, although injured. Freeze was heard in May of 2011 while on tour in Afghanistan. And we had just sat down to a video teleconference. It was 1.30 on a Monday, then we had the incoming. Seven rockets were fired at him and the few others he was with. Free suffered a concussion and still to this day sees black spots. Four rounds were within uh, 20 meters of me. The chaplain's job was to give the 900 soldiers in his unit religious relief. But with the battalion seeing action on the battlefield daily, Freeze would need it himself and would pray at the start of each day. It was always in the back of my mind that that could be the last time I pray before I see God face to face. Uh, so that does something to you when you start the day that way. It makes you realize what's really important. Today, among the dozens there to honor him, included the most important things. Seeing my wife and children uh, uh, when we redeployed it, January 6, 2012, uh, was uh, one of the best feelings of my life. After his time with the Army, Captain Freeze joined the Air National Guard. He's now a base chaplain at the 122nd Fighter Wing and an associate pastor at Redeemer Lutheran Church in Fort Wayne.